How you doing guys? Hi. Uh, today is Friday, August 22nd. All day? It's the 23rd. It's my brother's birthday. Oh, okay. Then it's the 23rd. <laughs> Spoiler. All day. All night. Uh, this week... All night. No. No, I know what you <laughs> uh, This week we have uh, some unboxings from Macari, eBay... I got another package from J2H. Uh, I have Dollar Tree and a place called Cutie Patooties Consignment Store. So we're just going to dive on in and I'll show you everything that we got this week. Uh, some of this stuff I've actually had sitting on the shelf for about a month to five weeks that I'm finally getting around to uh, doing it. I pushed some other stuff aside to try to get some of these done. So some of these, I'm not going to remember the prices, but we'll just go off the cuff and fly with it. If I remember, I remember. Uh, the first, you never like to pay more than like eight, six, seven bucks anyway. Depending on what it is. First one. This is from Macari. Um, I have this movie. I think I got it three weeks ago. Ah, uh, three weeks ago. Three years ago. Three, on, three years ago. Yeah. Three years ago on Black, on Black Friday. And... Um, it came out in 3D, so I wanted to upgrade it. We're wearing our 3D snob shirts. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to upgrade uh, this title, and it is the Peanuts movie in 3D, as you can see right there. I wore my shirt first. He decided to wear his. I know, but it oh. is what it is. They're OOP. Yeah, we only have two. But uh, this movie, I've liked it. We both enjoyed it. We watched it. I think it was right after Black Friday. I like Charlie Brown. And uh, it was a good movie. Like I said, I wanted to revisit okay. it in 3D and upgrade. I needed it for the collection. So, super happy to have that one. I love how you say, I needed it. I did. I, I needed it in 3D. I needed that badly. <laughs> this one is from eBay. I and love this eBay. Is, this was a Dollar Tree title. I actually... It's got a slippy. Yeah. A nice lenticular slip. Um, but I picked it up at Dollar Tree during uh, one of their dollar um, sales that they had. Well, they're not sales, but when they had Blu-rays. But I know this movie came out in 3D, so I really wanted to pick it up. And it came with a nice lenticular slip. I'm not sure. No, it's not brand new factory sealed. But it is Battle of the Year. With a nice lenticular slip. I actually don't mind dance movies. They're pretty much uh, pretty fun. I, Like I said, I can't dance. So might as well watch other people dance. And like I said, in 3D, makes it even better. Next one. This one came I from... I the Battle of the Year came from eBay. It did. I said eBay. I was thinking about Bandit. Oh, we haven't got there yet. Spoiler. Oh, thanks. Uh, That's next okay. one. This one came from eBay as well. What a horrible cost. That sucked. Yeah, that did. You're fired. We do. <laughs> <laughs> that still stunk. The hook. Yeah. Goodbye. That's it. But uh, this movie, I found it on eBay. And it was uh, an IMAX uh, Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray, all on one disc. Rick and would it be is, so disappointed in you. I know. Rick's uh, bag toss on his last video. Oh, yeah. He's were, really good. Yeah, they were pretty sick. Made it all the way to the kitchen on one of them. But this is <laughs> Dinosaurs in 3D. Uh, Giants of the Patagonia. So That's cool. I like IMAX. Yeah, I like IMAX. We like dinosaurs. We like 3D. So it all kind of works out. If I wasn't so much into Bambi, I would be an IMAX snob. Yeah, kind of like Movie Edge. Not, that doesn't sound right anyway. Yeah. Uh, we have to make new shirts. Oh, no. But uh, <laughs> super excited to have this one. It is uh, 60 minutes. So happy to have that one in the collection now. Next one. This one is from eBay as well. This one. Fragile, fragile, fragile. Written all over it. Yeah. This one, I remember paying... I think it was eight dollars, like she said, pretty much around eight bucks. It was eight dollars altogether with, sh yeah, with, shipping. with shipping. 
Because I remember I bought, I got it for like three dollars and change, and the guy charged me. It was like four seventy five for shipping. Was this one that you wait on your phone and you sniper it like three oh, yeah. seconds? I got this at the last minute, and this was Dragon Fro Dragon Fly Squadron in three D. This is a. Uh, it looks like a fifties, yeah. Uh, 1950s uh, war movie. Yeah, it looks way back in the day. Yeah, it, it looks like it was black and white at one time, and they colorized it. I would have preferred it to be in black and white. But, black and white's fine. Yeah, but they colorized it and made it into 3D, or it was originally 3D in the theaters back then with the old paper glasses. But I don't like the paper glasses. Yeah, super excited to have this one. Like I said, a lot of these this is a, an actual olive films release and the olive films the kinos are and the twilight times those are super hard to find especially cheap so when i find them i try to snag those up uh the next one this one i got it in the mail yesterday <clears throat> yeah yesterday this one came off of makari this one, I've seen it on Macari before, and the guy wanted like 20 bucks for it. And I wasn't going to pay 20 You just bucks ran for it. away. Yeah. You didn't fly over, you just ran. I just ran. But then I said, you know, I'm just going to be patient. Sooner or later, it's going to pop up. Somebody put it on there for $6 with free shipping, and it was brand new factory sealed, thinking nobody really wanted this movie. But me, being a 3D snob that I am, I wanted it. Popped up again. Oh, yeah. And that was. Jungle Shuffle. I know you want to watch this, but... Talking Animals? Yeah, Talking Animals. <laughs> uh, this is from the creators of the movie The Reef. We have The Reef 2 in 3D. We don't have The Reef yet. But, like I said, for $6 with free shipping, to me that was a score. The guy uh, paid... year old like the cover. Yeah, the guy paid $3.70 for shipping, so... It was like $2 to change for this brand new. So For a 3D? For a 3D that I didn't have... You must jump out of your pants. Oh, yeah. Next one. This one came from... Ba, 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 ba. Have no idea. Got a lot of stamps on it. Yeah, it's got a lot of stamps. We'll crack this open. And an envelope. And, and an envelope and a piece of paper. That's uh, a heavy piece of paper. Yeah, it was like construction paper. I was going to say. It this was one like actually... An this one I got it off of eBay. This one... Oh. I think I paid I paid almost ten bucks altogether with the shipping. So the artwork's pretty good. Yeah. Wait for it. Like I said, they got it on sale at FYE for six ninety nine. I got it for less than six ninety nine, but I had to pay for shipping. But it was Dario Argento's Dracula in three D. You like Dario Argento. Oh yeah. This is brand new factory sealed. I actually have this movie on Blu-ray already in my collection. So this, as well as the Peanuts that I showed earlier, those will be uh, both up for sale on my Macari page. My Macari page will be down in the description below. If you see anything on there and you're a subscriber, you know, let me know. And I'll give you a better deal than what I have it on there for. So, but there Argento's Dracula in 3D, brand new. So, what was super it originally? Excited. Nine... Uh, ten bucks. Yeah, nine bucks. So, that's pretty cool to have that one. Next one. This one I got off of Macari. It's a nice box from Italy. Do you need a Macari Master shirt? No. But... Jeez. Bubbles. This... Keeping our son's three rooms away, at least. Yeah. This one, I was super excited to find it um it's a brian de palma film and that is dress to kill on criterion blu-ray um this movie i haven't seen for a very long time i've never seen it but it's a really good film i i'm a big fan of brian de palma films like i said to find a blu-ray criterion this i paid 13 dollars with free shipping and to find a Criterion Blu-ray for 13 bucks for free shipping. I mm. like Tommy DePaula. He does kid, kids' books. Yeah. I know a lot of authors. Fun fact right there. Instead of um, movie stars and actors. Sorry. But this one is number... Seven. Way back for you. 770. Yeah. 
So from the Criter Criterion Collection. Yeah. So super excited to have that one finally in the collection. Then there's still more. The last unboxing for my stuff is from J2H. J2H is a YouTuber and an Instagrammer. Uh, he has a really cool channel. He has, I think he's 90 away from a thousand subs. So, you know, awesome. go over there, give him a sub, give him some likes, check out his videos. Now we we'll like to get him to uh, a thousand subs. So, uh, I'll leave in the description below a link to his YouTube and to his Instagram. But, um, last week, that was nice. last weekend, he went to Big Lots. He went to Big Lots. And he was there and he said, hey, uh, Joe, they got a couple of 3D movies here. Are you interested in any of these? Send me pictures. And I was like, you know, there was one title I wanted. And while he was there, he showed me pictures of all the horror titles that they had. And I saw something else I wanted. So I told him if you could throw it in a box and send it my way, I'll be uh, extremely grateful. So he did that for me. Here it is. First one is uh, Night Watch and Day Watch. A nice double feature. Um, Night Watch, I already have that in my collection. Never seen it. On DVD. DVD? Yes. DVD. Day Watch, I've never seen it. I've never owned it. So that's why I wanted it most. Was To me, it's not a movie that I really needed to upgrade on Blu-ray. But... To get day watch finally and then to just to have it in one package to save space and for three dollars to me it was a no-brainer so i was super happy to get that a dollar fifty a movie yeah pretty much that's cool and then this one i have it in my collection on blu-ray i'm sorry with the slip so that'll be going mm -hmm. up for sale on my Macari store as well and that is star trek beyond in 3d this was $5. It came with the 3D, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD. So, super excited to have that. Now I finally have all the Star Treks that came out in 3D. In 3D. And there was only two of them. So, super excited to finally have that one. I watched Jeopardy before Star Trek. Yeah. Um, the, hey. Those Star Trek... I like the old Star Trek films. I have... Star Trek The Next Generation? That no. Show? The, no, I'm talking about the, the movies. Oh, my the, brother and I used to watch the Star Trek Next Generation show a lot. Yeah, but the star, the original Star Trek movies, The Wrath of Khan, uh, The New Hope, uh, not The New Hope, uh, The Voyage Home, I think it was called. Uh, all those mm -hmm. movies I really enjoy. I have the box set. I think it's back there somewhere in the corner. But super excited to finally have that. And that is the package from J2H. Thanks a lot, uh, Jacob. I really appreciate you grabbing that for me. With some good deals. Oh, yeah. Next one is... Literally, next one. We went to a consignment store. And after the consignment store, we stopped at Dollar Tree. And there was a Dollar Tree that I never hit up during the sales. So I went over there and they had... It was like six titles. And this was the only title out of the six that I wanted or didn't have. And it is... Short Term 12. This has... Uh, John Gallagher Jr. and Brie Larson, a.k.a. Captain Marvel. And uh, I decided, pick it up. I'll check it out. Uh, winner of Best Picture. Mm -hmm. Don't know for what. I know it wasn't. Let's see if this is right. Uh, Grand Jury Prize. Oh, mm -hmm. it's uh, South by Southwest. That's where it won uh, Best Picture. I definitely I don't pitch know a lot perfect of people feel. or actors, but I can say Make Way for Ducklings by Robert McCloskey is really good. Yeah. So, super excited to have this one in the collection. I'm just like, okay, next. Next one is a package that came in the mail today. Today. For Marie. And this came from eBay. I go that way. Okay, that's fine. I paid... <sighs> Twenty four ninety nine for it with yeah. shipping, and it is a two disc collection in a box, nice and shiny, brand new, factory sealed from the UK. Handy. It is very metallic. Look at that. Yeah, it has a nice foil 
box. It's not dented at all. I'm yeah. I'm happy about that for being in a show you right there bubble mailer. I didn't like how they put it in the case, actually backwards, so you can't no. see the artwork. That drives but me nuts. It is what it is. I want to open it and flip it around, but I'm yeah. not going to. Uh, there's the back right there. But yeah, like I said, she just got this in the mail from the UK, so super excited. To, uh, well, she's more excited than mm -hmm. I am to have this in the collection. This is number 43. It's up there. Yeah, 40 something. <laughs> they don't need to know how much of an addict I am. Anyway, I have a Bambi that I'm sending back because that was the one that I ordered three weeks ago. Yeah, it was like three weeks ago. Um, what actually out. happened was she ordered a uh, Blu ray. Bambi she, 1 and yeah. Bambi 2. It came with a loose disc. We sent it back. It was brand new factory sealed. Couldn't so open. we couldn't open it. We sent it back. We found another seller that had the exact same one. Cheaper. Cheaper. We ordered that. It showed up this week. It showed up two days ago. And it was the exact same DVD set. Uh, DVD. Uh, Blu-ray set that we ordered originally. But this showed up. They sent me that. They sent us this, but the box was all damaged because they stuck it in a crappy bubble mailer all the way from the UK. And I'm like, and but then the day that that mailer had holes yeah, in it. The day that that showed up, she actually ordered this like four hours before that one showed. And she goes, "Holy crap! I just ordered this, and it's here within four hours, all the way from Texas." And I'm like. We we had to we had to sit down and actually try to figure go out through my, go through my messages and try to figure so out I'm not that going nuts. because we didn't order that already no. and it was that the the guy said that the the UPC on the back was wrong for me bay and that's why the artwork is wrong and the one that he actually put the picture on his ad is not he doesn't have that Bambi so we're like well I'm gonna ship it back tomorrow. And we just want our money back because we literally just order it, ordered this, as I, you can see. Mm -hmm. And then the one that he sent us was all damaged and full of dents because he sent it in a crappy bubble mail all the way from the UK. No, this he one, sent it in an envelope wrapped in bubble wrap. Yeah. The bubble wrap slipped around and the bubble wrap was broken inside the thin envelope. Yeah, so finally... I received said package dented. So finally... Like I said, after three attempts of blood, sweat, and tears. I don't want you to drop this one. Yeah, she got that one in a collection. Yeah. Rant is over. I was not happy. And I still need to get that Bambi 1 and Bambi 2. Okay, yeah, Ray. We, we'll find it. On that. And on then that. the last place that we went to is so a place... So that's the one that's going to be coming in the mail, hopefully next, maybe. Yeah. So uh, the next thing in the mail... Ah, next thing in the mail. Next thing that we got... Is from a place called Cutie Patooties. My idea. Yeah. It was uh, last weekend. She wanted to go there because it was in Massachusetts. It was tax free on pretty much everything. They have a lot of kids clothes and yeah. some toys and some books. Yeah. It's pretty much a consignment shop. They have books. They have media. They have toys. They have kids clothes. They have adult clothes. And it's pretty much a huge Fun. consignment shop. But... While she's always looking at the toys, I like looking at the media. When we went over to to the main uh, media area, she actually found a title that we're going to show last. That I was, found it in the books. Yeah. She actually found Shoved. it. Shoved. Buried. Bottom shelf. Buried in the books. Buried. All the way in the back. And then when we went up front and we were finishing off, I saw another bookcase and I looked and I'm like I just I always thought it was only books on that bookcase you I really never I never really looked <laughs> at it and they actually had media on it and it was they just put the bigger boxes of media on that shelf up front and I've never looked at it but when I looked up I was just like oh my god I want this and I dove at it like it was Black Friday even though Marie was the only one next to me and I'm like what's but going on this is something I've wanted for so long because when I was a kid, I used to watch the show all the time. When it was on uh, PBS, I used to love the show. It was Never a show. It. It was a show it. out of Canada, 
and it was let me find one that I can show you and it was the grassy junior high Ta -da. Ta -da. and this is is it like saved by the bell or something it's kind of like saved by the bell but I enjoyed saved by the a bell. lot more better stories there were more not so funny kind of comedy they were more of a dramatic Head show in the class? no no, it was more like um, My So-Called Life. Oh, that's good. That it was more of actual real life. I remember Spike that... Spoiler! But if you haven't seen this in 20-something years, you deserve the spoiler. But uh, I remember Spike... Thanks. That she was, I think, like 13, and she was pregnant in junior high. And that was one of the storylines. But, uh, like I said, I love this show. It came in three cases and like I said you can see on the back what year did it come out about uh, the 80s or something I don't know maybe it was before me a little bit maybe I just missed it uh, it came out in the 80s I remember that because like I said I was young when this show came out but as you can see right on the back it was four dollars and 49 cents but we bought it after uh the, April, the July 13th, that's on there. So we actually got it for $2.69, as you can see right Season there. Season one. Yeah, so super happy to get that for. I've seen these seasons. They, these seasons on Amazon, they go for like 12 bucks. But to find it for $2.70, it was In the box? Too. In the box, and it was mint. And then... Right next to it. Right next to it was... The Grassy Junior High Season 2. Exact same price, $2.79, because it came from the same person. Look at those pictures on the back. Yeah, oh, yeah. They, they look for, like they're from the 70s, 80s. Yeah, they're from the 80s, as you can yeah. see right there. Nice, cool pics. 80s were awesome. Oh, yeah, they were. And then... I don't remember too much. The now. Grassy Junior High Season 3. And again, this thing is mint. The boxes are mint, yeah. And there is Spike, as you can see her blonde hair, all spiked up with the baby. Because she had in season three. Spoiler! Oh, thanks. So, Aww. I was super excited, like I said, to find these. Just like a porcupine. Yeah. <laughs> Degrassi Junior High, I loved this show. And like I said, to find all three seasons. With the box. With the box. And then the the our last title that we're going to show is the one that we found in the bookcase. So this one was for five dollars and eighty cents. Yeah. Brand new, factory sealed. With the slip. It's a Disney. And I, I I was going through the books and I was pulling it out and this was like tucked more than halfway in. Like somebody hid this to try and get it for like four dollars and nineteen cents in like two or three weeks. But it is Dumbo. On Blu-ray with the slippy. Yeah. And it is, as she said, brand new factory sealed. I'll give it the rub. You can but, do that. But, like I said, to find this hidden behind a bunch of books. I pulled it out and he's like, oh. Brand new factory like, sealed with the slip. Fine. I found it. Yeah. We, we actually act have we actually have this same one with the slip in our collection. No, we actually. I thought we did. I, I don't want to get up. But this is the 75th anniversary of Dumbo. We have the 70th anniversary no. of Dumbo. Yeah, the artwork is actually different. Really? Yeah. So, undecided if we're going to get rid of it yet. I don't know yet. Yeah. So, we're going to look at both of them. It's a nice collector's. Yeah. So, this thing, like I said, is meant to slip is meant. The slip is nice, yeah. So, for all you slip Nazis. And Blu-ray snobs. Yeah. And Disney snobs. All of the above. <laughs> It's, gotcha. it's every single box checked for you right there. But Not super Bambi. excited to have that one. Jay? And that is... It's no Bambi. No. And that is everything that we got this week. Finally got one Bambi. I had at least five or six packages in the past like two weeks. But they're toddler items and you don't want to see the toddler book haul and toys. Nobody wants to see that. No. And this is everything in my pile right there. If you have a favorite, leave a comment down below. I'm just very happy to get that 
Bambi box set in mint condition. Yep. And that is pile number two. And like Marie said, if you see anything in uh, this pile of movies that we got this week, you know, anything that you've seen before. A couple if you ever, 3Ds. Yeah. If you've ever seen Degrassi Junior High, you know, leave a comment down below. I always like to know if anybody's ever seen that. Some people have never even heard of that show. But I'm curious. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Like Marie right here. I but, watched uh, My Fair Lady. Yeah. That black and white musical is good. Yeah. I, I liked it. It was like three hours, but... It's not black and white. It's color. It I didn't watch it too well. <laughs> but, uh... If, Fail. Uh, if you like this wow. video, hit the like button. Oh, I'm slacking. If uh, you didn't like this video, I'm sorry. Slacking. We'll try again next time. Probably, again, we ranted even more than the last one. <laughs> it, um, it was color. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, if you want to see more from our ridiculousness, hit the uh, no, uh, subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and uh, we'll have more videos from you. Like I said before, in the description, there'll be uh, links to J2H. J2H. There'll be links to my Macari store and to my Instagram also. You know, give me a follow there and uh, see what I post my ridiculous on that one. So uh, thanks for watching. Until next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, the chain